there. This is Beth with Sheets and Systems, and I have created a new sheet that I want to share with you guys. This is a report card comment maker. There are two versions. I'll show you the super simple one first. This one you literally just put in your kids' names, and then you choose a letter grade um, between A and F, and it will put together a comment with their name and their grade. This is based off of this comment bank over here. So if I were to change A to phenomenal, it would be there. So any kind of punctuation or any of that kind of stuff that you do would need to be correct in the comment bank. So you don't edit over here, you only edit in the comment bank. And then you come to the final comment and you copy it and paste it into your report card. So that's a super simple version. The one that I think most people need is actually this one right here. It's the complex version. And you can see that I already have some comments. I wanted to show you what it looked like from scratch. So I would go in and I would put in my first and last name. And you'll notice that it did go ahead and add my name into the comments. So the reason all of this is false is because there are formulas that we have not done yet. So it's saying false is a good thing. Then you will go through. So I have an overall comment. If I click A, it would say Beth, outstanding work. Then I can go into reading and give a letter grade. I can go into math. I'll show you how you can change these comments in just a second. And I just go through and I assign all of these things and it will put together comments. Then over here, I can put in an additional comment of whatever I want. So this you can edit. Okay, let's go back to our final comment and you will see that from clicking all of that, it says, Beth, outstanding work. We will continue to work on reading together. Your math is great. Excited to see your science continue to grow. Excited to see you continue to learn about our world. You're quite a writer. You're a joy to have in class. Now, obviously, these are very generic comments. You would need to go edit them for your work. But what you don't edit is any of these particular columns other than clicking the letters. You leave everything else alone. You can update the headers. And then you can also edit 100% of the comments. So they connect. So the overall column over here pulls from this column bank. You do need to make sure your punctuation and stuff is correct here because this one does combine with the student's first name. If you go to the reading comment bank, you can update all of the reading comments. You can change these to phonics to whatever fits your needs. Same for math science, social studies, and writing. So this is where you do the editing. You go in each time, whether it's first, second, third, fourth, quarter, trimester, whatever, you can edit them to fit your needs. And then once you edit those, all you have to do is go through and click the letter and it gives the comments and then puts them all together. You come right here, copy and paste this box into your report card and you are good to go. I set it up for 50 students, but obviously you can copy this as many times as you need to. I think that is everything you would need to know. The biggest thing is that you just don't edit these particular boxes. I protected them and put a warning up there to remind you just in case. If you have any questions or can think of other features that need to be added, please let me know. Shoot me an email at beth at sheets and systems with beth.com. Hope this saves you a ton of time and is super helpful. Make sure that you don't share this actual document with people um, that they go purchase one from Teachers Pay Teachers. But I would love for you to send them the link to TPT so that they can um, get this awesome resource as well. Have a great day.